Welcome back. In this Python tutorial, we will continue our Plotly Dash series with how to lay out an app or dashboard and position and style the different elements. We will start by opening VS Code. Then go to File, Open Folder. Then we will open our Dash Layout folder with the Python file and our CSS style file. Let's run the file to get an idea of what this code will produce. Open a terminal and double check that you have activated the correct package environment and that your directory is pointing to the correct folder, etc. Here we can see that we have activated the Anaconda Plotly Dash package environment and that the directory is pointing to our Plotly Dash layout folder. To run the file, let's type Python with the name of the file dash layout.py. To open the app, we can copy and paste this address into a web browser or command click. And here we have a sample dash dashboard showing examples of how to lay out HTML, markup, a text box, a slider, a dropdown, and some charts. For the Hello World HTML, we have used CSS to style the text, and for the charts at the bottom, we have used CSS to position the charts side by side with a border. In future tutorials, we will go over how to make our core components, widgets, interactive, and connect them to other parts of the dashboard. To create this sample dashboard showing layout examples, we start with our imports, which are import dash. From dash, import HTML, DCC. Import Plotly Express as PX. DCC stands for Dash Core Components, and these are the dashboard widgets. Here we have the data that we will use in our dashboard. Next, we create the app using app equals dash dot dash. Here we have the markdown text that we will use later. To create the app layout, the code used is app.layout equals HTML div, and the code goes inside the round brackets and the square brackets. For the layout, we begin with an HTML header using HTML.h1. Notice we use CSS style to set the color to orange and the font size to 40. Here we set the markdown text to display in the dashboard using dcc.markdown. Next we put in our core components, or widgets, with some HTML paragraphs and HTML breaks and some charts. The core components we will display in our dashboard are the text box input using dcc.input, the slider using dcc.slider, and the drop down menu using dcc.dropdown. We will cover the core components in more detail in later tutorials. For the chart or graph, we use dcc.graph with a Plotly Express line chart. The last set of charts example shows that you can use a separate CSS style file to set positioning and styling for your dashboard elements. In this case, we use CSS Flexbox to put the charts side by side, horizontally. To connect to the style file, we create the styling here in style.css using .container1 with display flex and set the class name to container1 here in our HTML div. Then we use some more HTML divs and put in our line charts. Also using style here, we put a border around the charts. The Plotly Dash documentation has more details on adding your own CSS here. There are many more options that allow you to style your dashboard. For example, you can add resources hosted externally to your Dash app with the external style sheets and external scripts init keywords. And you can use grid layouts with Dash Bootstrap components.
Finally, we use app.runserver setting debug to true to run the app. Coming soon, we will go over how to make these dashboards interactive. That's all we have for this tutorial. Join us again next time.